Hey YouTube, this is the Charizard Authority. Uh, I've, I've been buying a lot of other stuff other than those binders here lately. Just haven't been showing a whole lot of it. I figured uh, this would be pretty cool to show. A fellow YouTuber contacted me about their collection that they had on eBay. And they put it up for auction. And then they uh, actually won it. And it's, they're all inside this uh, top loader binder. I'll just kind of go through and show you what I won. Here's their note. Thanks for buying my auction. Please leave positive feedback if you can. I included 32 extra cards and 32 extra top loaders as well as an extra page in the back. Take care. And I think this maybe his user ID and his uh, YouTube. So uh, go the, on the first page we got a Shining Noctowl and Charizard. They're both really beat up. So they'll be going straight into auction on that set. Got some full art cards. I'm not sure what all of these I do have. I've bought a lot of ultra rares here lately for my own collection. So any that I already have will go up for sale. Anything that's not English will automatically go up for sale. Let's so think scoop this binder over and get it out of the light a little bit. You got tons of cards. Like I think he said these that like that's Korean. I don't know if Korean cards are worth a whole lot. Uh, they look pretty cool. They def I guess they look real. I really don't know. Got a Landers full art. Giratini or Giratina. Deoxys EX. Dark Rye. Here's some other cards and Charizard G level X. Which I'll have to check the condition because I mean if they're not mint they'll be going up for sale as well. When I finish my ultra rares collection I'll probably show it on here. It includes like it includes primes, EXs, level X's, legends, uh, newer EXs, full arts, and then it's also got the same thing for all the promo variants including the world championship variants which that's the main hold up right now because those are really hard to find it also includes gold stars yeah all that good stuff because most sellers do not specify who the artist is like that signed the world championship card and it matters for a few of them yeah, as long as these are mint near mint, looks like some of these cards I can use for my collection because I think I had just got up to the third or fourth black and white series before I stopped to take a breather to make sure I had everything because I was buying so many ultra rares it was hard to keep up uh, with what I still needed and which which cards had to be returned. I have no use for this uh, top loader binder. I think the last one I ended up selling and trading away to somebody. I'll probably do the same thing with this one. And then all these ultra rares will be going, be going up for sale. In the end, I think I paid four hundred dollars for the binder, so it was roughly a little under three dollars a card. <clears throat> Which, if I opened up a pack and got you know this card, <clears throat> one of these cards in every pack, that'd be some really nice pulls so I figured it was a pretty good deal and of course a lot of these cards are worth way more than three dollars and there I mean there are some that aren't worth that as much these legends in general are worth quite a bit well five to ten bucks I guess these right here is free cards that you put in which are fairly nice This this is a shiny collection for Korean or something. The whole cards popping out there was really annoying. <laughs> oh wait, here's another note. Let's see this on the first time here. This is the 30th page and wasn't included in the auction because one of the rings is ripped. But I have no use for it, so enjoy it as an extra. Well, cool deal. Alright, I uh, hope you enjoyed. That was 
pretty cool. Oh, there's a ton of ultra rares, just pages and pages and pages and pages of them. If you have any specific interest in them, let me know. Most of the time these ultra rares are just price on what they're selling for on eBay, so you guys can get a discount on here. Thanks for watching.